In this video, I want to compare the power consumption of the Xbox Series X with the PlayStation 5. I'm an electrical engineer, so I'm generally curious about power usage of various devices that I use, and I test every single one of them. For this test, I'll be using a TP-Link Casa Mini Smart Plug with energy monitoring. This is the KP115. I'll add a link in the description in case you're interested. Generally, I test the power consumption with my multimeter, but of late I found these CASA smart plugs to be just as accurate and far more convenient to take measurements using their CASA app. Now, I have compared the readings of these plugs to ones from my trusty multimeter, and I can say that the CASA smart plugs are fairly accurate, probably about to plus or minus 1 watt. Generally speaking, I expect these two consoles to consume the same amount of power since their hardware specs are fairly identical. Also note that a lot depends on the firmware that these consoles are on. These were tested with the latest updates so as of November 2022, just so that you know. Testing the consoles is a bit tricky since the power usage is not constant. Here are the four modes we'll be testing on. The menu screen, running a AAA game, on standby, and on shutdown. The standby mode might also be called rest mode. Starting off at the menu screen, the PS5 draws 53 watts, whereas the Xbox Series X draws 52 watts. So no real difference here. Next up, running a AAA game on the PS5 draws an average of 220 watts, whereas on Xbox Series X, a AAA game draws an average of 180 watts. So already we see a bit of a difference between the two. The PlayStation 5 seems to draw 15 to 20 percent more power while running similar games. Coming to standby or rest modes, the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 have different ways to configure whether your console enters full sleep mode or if it sleeps in a connected mode. On PlayStation 5, you would go to Settings, System, Features Available in Rest Mode. Here if you enable the Stay Connected to the Internet option and put the PlayStation 5 to rest, it consumes 1 watt of power. On the other hand, if you disable the Stay Connected to the Internet option, and put the PlayStation 5 to rest. It enters the full sleep mode and consumes only a quarter of a watt of power. On the Xbox Series X, you would go to Settings, General, Power Options. Here if you select Sleep Mode, the Xbox stays connected to the internet when you turn it off and consumes 7 to 20 watts with an average of 10 watts. This is odd and a huge difference between the two. My guess is Microsoft can and should optimize the rest mode on Xbox since it should not need to consume this much power when the PlayStation 5 is able to get away with just one watt of usage. If you're wondering what 10 watt constant usage looks like, it's probably the equivalent of a LED bulb running all the time. Put another way, the national average rates in the US for electricity is around 17 cents per kilowatt hour which means that you'll end up paying around $1.20 each month if you end up using the rest mode on Xbox instead of shutting it down. So over the span of a whole year, you're looking at probably close to $15 for not shutting down your Xbox. Cost aside, this is usually wasteful and something Microsoft really needs to fix. In the meanwhile, I recommend you shut down your Xbox rather than using the standby mode. On the other hand, if you select the shutdown mode, it consumes just a quarter of a watt when you turn it off. So on full sleep mode, both the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X consume just a quarter of a watt of power. This is the minimum power needed to be able to respond to a wake-up signal from your controller. Now if you're wondering what 200 watts of usage while gaming means, it's like having 20 LED bulbs on at the same time. In terms of cost, if you game for 4 hours a day, Using the same 17 cents per kilowatt hour rate, it will cost you $4 a month. Everything said, the two consoles are generally comparable to each other and vastly more efficient than an equivalent PC with discrete graphic cards. In case you are wondering, my desktop with a RTX 2080 consumes 350 watts while playing a AAA game. Reading online, I see that the RTX 1490 alone consumes 500 watts and a whole desktop based on it would probably consume around 650 watts, which is 3-4 to four times more power hungry than the consoles. That does it for this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you all next time.